Here you can see I have my list of student names. In this case, I have 26 students in the class. And I just need a grid of numbers one, I'm sorry, two through 27. And the reason it is starting at two is if you haven't already, when you watch the master slides, the first slide is the intro or the topic. So slide two is the first corresponding slide that I want someone to be assigned to. And so I have all the numbers here. And what I'm going to be doing is using this and the random integer generator to randomly assign the students to slides. I'm going to adjust my view just a little bit to make sure I can see my whole list. Now I'm gonna have this pre-populated like this for the start of the class. If a student happens to be absent, I would want to click on the row header and then right click and delete. And the reason you wanna do that is you want to eliminate that student for the day as well as the corresponding number so that there's not too many, too many numbers that you need. So again, I'm gonna do that, delete the row. Now I'm missing the number 15 and I can simply highlight and drag it out to fix that order. So just simple modifications you can make that day for class. So for the opening, the students will be assigned to their corresponding number in order. When you're ready to have the students be randomly assigned to a new slide to add their opinion to somebody else's starting one, you can simply highlight the section, go to data, randomize range, and it automatically randomized where the students need to go. And so now they can go to their second slides and add their topic. When you're ready for the third rotation, you're gonna follow the same process. This is where you might have to do some in-class modifications. So I've randomized it again, and you just simply need to check with your students. Does anybody have a number they've already had? The greater the chance, the greater the class is, the less of a chance there is of this happening, happening but it's still a possibility. So let's say student G says, I already did slide 24. I would simply say to my class, who has not done slide 24? If student O says, I have not, then I can turn to student G and say, have you done slide six? And if they say no, I can type in six and I can type in 24 and now we keep moving. So although that might happen, it's still a very efficient process for you to randomize your students. And then again, when you go to rotate, the randomization will still work because you didn't eliminate any numbers from the list. You simply just changed the order for yourself, but you still have numbers two through 27. And so this would work. So this is a great way to randomize your students to assign them to the slides for this topic or any other applications that might make sense.